This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this uh, chocolate graphic using Inkscape and at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So I'll minimize this and we'll get started here in Inkscape. By the way, if you'd like to know how you can make Inkscape appear dark and with these custom icons, a link to that information will be in the description of the video. So the first thing we want to do in Inkscape is make sure that we have the view set to custom and then we'll zoom in at one to one. Then we want to open up the edit objects, uh, actually no, the align and distribute menu. Align and distribute objects, open that window. We're going to want last selected chosen from that drop down. And then we'll open up the edit objects, colors, gradients, and stroke menu. So the first thing we're going to do is create a square. So let's grab the uh, squares and rectangles tool and hold control and shift on the keyboard and click and drag to create a perfectly symmetrical square like that. And then we'll bring the opacity of that down about in half. We'll go back to the select tool and uh, we're going to right click this and go to duplicate and then hold control and shift and scale that down a little bit like that. And then we'll click on the, uh, actually we'll turn that red. And then we'll click on the, uh, the black uh, box behind it and we'll duplicate that by hitting Control D on the keyboard. We'll turn that blue and we'll lower that to the bottom with this button right here. It says lower selection to the bottom. And then just hold Control and pull this bottom right arrow out like that. Maybe about that far. And then hold Control and take this top left arrow and pull that in. Maybe about that much. And then what we want to do now is we're going to grab the Bezier pen, which is right here, or we can just press B on the keyboard to grab that. And we'll turn on the snap to cusp nodes, which is up here. We're going to snap the cursor onto this corner and click, then to this corner and click, then to this corner and this corner and back to the starting point. So we have that little shape drawn. We're going to do the same thing over here on this side. We'll start at this corner and that corner and over here over here and then back to the starting point. And then we can click up, uh, go back to the select tool and click on the blue square and press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. So now we're going to color this thing in with the uh, colors I used for the chocolate graphic here and uh, I will have the color codes in the description of the video. I'm just going to copy and paste them into the graphic here. First I'll click on this black one, bring the opacity all the way up and then uh, we'll go to our color codes. Like I said, I'll have these in the description of the video. Just go in order. I'll have them listed in order like this. Just highlight that, copy it, you just hit control C and then come over here to the RGBA under the fill tab and just change that. Control V to paste it in and uh, I'm going to click this red square and I'm going to bring that opacity all the way up and I'm going to make that actually the same color. Just hit control V to paste that in but I'll come up here to the HSL tab and over to the L row and slide that to the left a little bit to make that a little lighter. And then uh, we'll go back to the, uh, we'll go to the second one on the list here, copy that. And take this bottom piece over here. Uh, we're going to give that, a, we're going to give that a fill by clicking on this blue box. And we'll get rid of the stroke by holding shift and clicking on the X. And uh, I'm just going to copy, I'm just going to paste that in there. We got that shade and then we have this one over here. We'll copy that, click on this object, turn on the fill, we can get rid of the stroke by, uh, you can actually come over to the stroke paint tab and click on the X, that will also get rid of the stroke. And you can go back to the fill tab and paste in that shade. And what we want to do now is, um, let's click off of that to deselect everything and we'll grab the Bezier pen which is over here, or you can just press B on the keyboard. And we'll start it out like over here click and get, create a line going through that, that light brown square in the middle like that. And then just finish it up going around the outside like that. We'll go back to the select tool, hold shift, click on the light brown square and go to path difference. So we end up with that little uh, piece right there. And what we want to do now is click and drag over all of that and group it together. And then hold control and shift on the keyboard to scale it in about that much. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this twice. So I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate it. And I'll hit Control D again to duplicate it again. And we should have three copies in total. I'll hold Control and bring this copy over here. And I'll hold Control and bring this copy over here. And then I'll hold Shift and click on that copy. And come down here to the Align menu. And click the button that says Align Left Edges of Objects to the right edge of the anchor. Just like that. 
and we'll click on that one hold shift click on this one and we'll click that same button again the uh, align uh, that one right there to the right and click and drag over all three of those and group them together and then we'll duplicate those twice hit control D once and then hit it again and just hold control and pull this one down here and hold control pull this one down here hold shift click on the uh, the row of shapes above it and then uh, align top edges of objects to the bottom edge of the anchor and it's going to stack it up right beneath the top one I'm going to do the same thing to this one down here click on that hold shift click on that stack that right beneath it with the uh, with this button over here and uh, what we're going to do now is let's click off of that to deselect everything and we're going to grab the squares and rectangles tool and we're going to snap the cursor onto this bottom left corner over here and then click and drag to create a rectangle and end it by snapping onto this corner over here to the top right and the color we want to make this rectangle is it will be the uh, the final color code in our list here so just copy and paste that into the RGBA and there we have that go back to the select tool let me just make sure that went in right okay good we'll go back to the select tool and we'll lower this to the bottom and I'm going to take this bottom arrow and pull that out a little bit like that and I'll take this right arrow and pull that out a little bit like that so we have a little bit of spacing in there and what we want to do now is if you notice in the graphic I have like a bite taken out of the chocolate bar that's what we're going to create now so let's click on this bottom row of objects and ungroup them with the ungroup button click off of it to deselect and take just this object and just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that and then we'll grab the bezier pen which is over here or you can just press B on the keyboard and I'm just gonna draw a line in this shape let me zoom in a little bit you could zoom in by pressing plus and minus on the keyboard to zoom in and out I'm just gonna draw a line like that that'll uh, emulate sort of like a bite just like that go back to the select tool let me position this a little better maybe right about there and then we once you've drawn that you could hold shift and click on the uh, the light brown square and go to path difference and then press one of the keyboard to zoom back out to 100 percent so what we'll do now is click and drag over all of this and group it together and then we'll click on it again to get our rotation handles but we're going to use this top this top middle arrow up here we're going to hold control and take this top middle arrow and slide that two steps to the right let's go one two and then we'll hold control and we'll take this top right uh, rotation handle and we'll rotate that clockwise one step but while holding control we'll just go one just like that and now what we can do is we can ungroup it and click off it to deselect everything and we'll take this large piece on the bottom over here right here that piece and we'll duplicate that by hitting control D and then just hold control on the keyboard and just click and drag it down about that far and we'll lower that to the bottom and we're gonna make that the same shade of brown that this dark shade is right here so we'll just grab the dropper which is over here or if you're using a laptop there should be a little arrow that you click on and a little pop-up menu menu will come up but there's the dropper I, I just like to use the keyboard shortcut which is F7 that also gets you the dropper and I'm just gonna make it that same dark shade right there and I'll go back to the select tool and I'm actually gonna move this up a little bit I'm just gonna hold control and just slide that back up a little bit and what we'll do now is we'll grab the bezier pen by pressing B on the keyboard or over here and we're gonna to snap to this corner let me zoom in on this again we're just pressing plus to zoom in I'm gonna to snap to this corner and then to this corner and then to this corner and over here and over there and we're pretty much creating a shape on that side right there just like that and we're gonna make that the same color that that is right there so we'll press F7 to get the dropper color that in get rid of the outline by holding shift and clicking on the X and then uh, we'll go back to the uh, the bezier pen which is over here or you can press B on the keyboard and I'm just gonna move on over to here to move the page in Inkscape you can just press down on the mouse wheel and just move the mouse or if you don't have a mouse wheel you can just press down the space bar that'll let you do that as well so uh, I'm gonna create another shape right here and right here bring this through the graphic and back to the starting point and go back to the select tool hold shift click on the darker brown layer underneath it and go to path union just like that 
And if you notice in here, there's different, I used the different shades within that, uh, the byte portion of the graphics. So I'm gonna create that now. Uh, I'm gonna press B to get the Bezier pen. And let me zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna skip this first segment, this first segment, and I'm gonna come over here to this second segment. I'm gonna snap to that node, snap to that corner, and over to here, and over there, and over there. And create a shape right there. And I'm gonna, then I'm gonna skip the next segment and create another shape right here. Hit and click, create that shape there. I'll create one here. And then I'll do one more right here. Like that. And what I'll do now is I'll go to the select tool and I'm gonna hold shift and click on all those shapes we just created. And then I'll press F7 and get the dropper, or you just grab it over here, and I'm gonna make this the same duller shade of brown right here. And then I'll get rid of the outline on those by holding Shift and clicking on the X. And then we can go back to the Select tool and press one on the keyboard to zoom out to 100%, and click off the graphic to deselect it. And one last final step would be putting these little bits of uh, crumbs here, these little like leftover pieces of uh, chocolate crumbs. So to do that, let me zoom back in, press plus on the keyboard a couple of times, oops. Here we go. Grab the Bezier pen again, which is over here, or you just press B on the keyboard. I'm just gonna draw uh, a random four point shape like that. And then I'll come over here and I'll draw another one, another random sporadic four point shape. And maybe over here I'll draw a, uh, like a triangle. Like that. And then I'll go to the select tool and I'll hold shift and click on all three of those and I'll press F7 to get the dropper, and I'll make them the same shade that this is up here. And then I'll uh, hold Shift and click on the X to get rid of the outline. And then I'll duplicate them by hitting Control D, and I'll make the duplicated copies, the dark, the, shard, the shade of dark brown, which is right here. And I'll go back to the Select tool, and I'll hold Control and move these down about that far, maybe about that much. Lower them to the bottom. And uh, let me zoom in a little bit by pressing plus on the keyboard a few times. And we just need to close in those corners now. So we'll click off of that to deselect everything. Grab the Bezier pen right there or just press B on the keyboard and just connect these corners together on each of these shapes like that. We'll connect these corners together. And finally, we'll connect these corners together And then we'll go to the select tool. And with that selected, hold shift and click on the dark brown shape and go to path union. And we'll do the same thing to the rest of these. We'll click on the newly drawn shape, hold shift, click on the dark brown shape, and go to path union. And then we'll do the same thing with this one over here. Just we'll go to path union. And then we can press one on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%. Click off of it to deselect everything and you could take it and group it together if you want. We're pretty much done. That's how you can create some vector chocolate using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.